out, friends. Hey, friends. Today we have got this again. <laughs> I always forget how heavy. You this. always forget Arm Day. Lift. <gasps> this book. See? Do you believe me now? <laughs> well, I can see a lot of pages. <laughs> Trust us, there are poses in there. If you haven't seen our previous pose video, we'll post it in the cards over there, so be sure to check that out. Yeah, and you might be saying, wow, Steph, you're super spooky today. <laughs> Where is all of your flesh and muscle gone? Yeah, that too. <laughs> There's a twist on today's video. Oh, you told me that there was a twist, but you haven't told me what it is. What is the twist with today's video? The pose that we end up having to draw, we have to make it Halloween-y. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's a spooky edition. Okay. In case you guys don't know, and this is your first time watching us do this, uh, we pick a random page. The other or person, other, right? yeah, yeah, the other person has to draw it. And are you going first? Okay, so you're picking one for me first, yeah? Yeah. Mm, this one. Oh. It's like pulling on a big toe. <laughs> 685, that's what you're working with. So we're working with a lady that's just discovered she has toes. There you go. Not gonna be losing her anytime soon. I'm gonna pick you the spookiest pose. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, the reference! Yes! <laughs> Pull on your big toe if you're happy, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video with your big toe. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna pick you the spookiest pose in this entire thing. You have to close your eyes. I have to close my eyes? Yeah, you know, I'll but, pick but I'm one drawer in this. Okay, fine. <laughs> mm. Oh, 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 it is kind of spooky. It reminds me of a skeleton. I wonder who I'll turn this into. Skeleton. I'm a stethoskeleton. Today. Yeah, you could totally draw yourself if you wanted to. <laughs> if you guys want to join in. If you want to have a doodle along, don't forget it's spooky edition today. Must be spooky. There you go. Yeah. Don't forget to draw the spooky big toe. <laughs> yep, tag us in it on Twitter or Instagram or something. You guys know what to do. Uh, now I need a minute to think about this. I need a moment. To pull on my big toe. Yours is easy. How is? <laughs> how am I gonna make this work? Maybe her big toe's coming up. Maybe, maybe she's a zombie or something. <laughs> it's the magic of this challenge. As if drawing poses isn't hard enough. You want more? Adam's looking hashtag inspired. <laughs> Adam's looking hashtag. Lost. I don't know where to start. <laughs> hashtag inspired. Is that a thing? I'm gonna go look at that later. You know the hardest thing with this challenge for me, I think, is just getting the whole freaking thing to fit. <laughs> Oh, fitting it on the paper. Getting it all to fit on there, yeah. I think I got super lucky last time. Well, this time you've done a head about half the size of the paper. I know, right. <laughs> I think there's going to be a bit of a raising in this video. Just a little. A raisin? A these. <laughs> a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> this video needs more raisins. <laughs> I think there's going to be a little hint of raisins in this video. <laughs> No! Oh, well, I'm sure we could figure out some kind of art challenge with raisins if you, <laughs> if you want to see it, so let me know. You guys know what to do. This is way too big. Maybe it's because you're drawing with a massive pencil. Look how big this is. I've been using this quite a lot recently, though. I think it's really nice. I think it's actually like a carpenter's pencil or something. That's what you guys said. Yeah, if you follow us on Twitter or Instagram, you've probably seen me drawing with them recently. I just really like how you can do like that, but you can also have that. Like, in, uh, in one pencil, isn't that incredible? It has, like, two different kind of line weights mm. you can get out of it. I really, really like that. That's why I've been using them so much recently. I'm going to I'm gonna commit. I'm going to try and get it to fit. And if it doesn't, well, I, I, I just don't know what I will do. <laughs> please fit, please. I like the shape of your head. I don't want to erase you. <laughs> Where's a big tall? It's, it's, I haven't done that leg yet. <laughs> wow, you're all in it for this toe, aren't you? I'm all about that big toe. <laughs> I hope everyone's wiggling the toes watching this. <laughs> Have you liked it with your big toe yet? That is a mighty toe. It kind of looks like a thumb. <laughs> thumb toe. Oh, guys, you, one thing that Steph's been fascinated with recently, and you should tell us as well, is your, not your big toe, the next one along, is it taller than your big toe or is it shorter than your big toe oh that's about pollen <laughs> is that gonna be today's poll because yeah. <laughs> steph's toes if you can imagine goes down really nicely whereas my feet and toes are kind of like all over <laughs> <laughs> it's like my feet have been whacked with a hammer and some have swollen up and stuff because his second toe along is longer than his big toe it sure is yeah some research would be really handy for me guys <laughs> if, if you don't mind sharing that kind of stuff there you go look it's a big toe Oh yeah, so it is. That's my big toe. Okay, I'm ready to see something incredibly spooky. 
Well, good luck seeing it all because Adam has loaned me a pencil, which is literally the hardest pencil that you can possibly get. It's a 9H. Oh no. This is, is doing even, this is even uh, tougher to probably see than what? The 100 year old pencil, the first one, those were like 4H or 6H, I think. Yeah, those were incredibly hard, weren't they? I'm taking your suggestion of doing a skeleton as well, though. Yeah, I think the pose would work really well. I think I'll have to use a different pencil, though. Has Monty got anything up there? Yeah, you give me a colour as he likes the colourful pencils. <laughs> oh, it's because he's such a colourful fellow. He's been hanging out with Walrus recently. I wonder if they're an item. <laughs> who, who needs the medal? Let's just say me. No! <laughs> we'll we check it another we time. We haven't checked the poll, guys, so we'll check it like another time. Because if you have one, that would be really unfair. I realise that I forget what skeletons look like. <laughs> well, when in doubt, make everything up, right? That's what the teacher in school... <laughs> <laughs> what has anyone in school said? If you're unsure, make it up. <laughs> Remember children, in science, if you're not sure of how to mix the chemicals, <laughs> just make it up. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, I'll just start putting some lines down for the gesture and then I'm gonna have to Google a skeleton, I think. Your pencil matches your shirt. Am I colour coordinating in this? You've got the best outfit! If I knew we were doing... If, <laughs> if I knew the twist was gonna be spooky, I would have put in more effort! <laughs> Oh yeah, you've got some Halloween glasses. Oh, I should go and get them. Yeah. I'll go and get them in a second. Oh, I'll that'll be the rest. real spooky twist to this video. Guys, uh, we have to put a, a trigger warning. You're about to be intensely spooked by my Halloween <laughs> glasses. I feel, I, I feel like I'm ready to make something spooky now. <laughs> I feel like I need a slight enhancement now. It also comes in casually spooky. <laughs> and then I'm here, but I don't really want to be here. <laughs> The three necessary settings for all Halloween <laughs> <Yeah>. parties. <laughs> I've got an extra element of dress up. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Is yeah. It? I've got super spooky dooky rings <laughs> on. <laughs> it instantly loses any fear factor when you call it spooky dooky. <laughs> I'm terrified. I got them off Halloween cakes. Yeah, if you look, there's still some like orange icing stuck to the back. Oh, of the... is that why you were trying to eat <laughs> these the other day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might as well completely go for it and put these on too. Okay. Maximum spook! Oh, wow. Yeah, they're kind of hard to... <laughs> they really like push all your yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite Halloween monster? <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite Halloween monster is a skeleton because you're dressed as one, aren't you? Oh, thank you. Why, what is your favourite Halloween monster? I like all of them. Oh, okay. Is that okay? <laughs> totally, yeah, I don't think they'll get out. <laughs> I think they'll be very fun. I love them all equally. Yeah. I love all of you! The werewolf's getting jealous. Ooh. Well, I'm glad the ghost seems clean. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going for a kind of like um, an undead theme and she's recently just sewed her toe back on. Oh, wow. I've noticed I've been asking you qu this quite a lot in videos recently. What kind of hair do you think she should have? Oh, like a pumpkin hat. Hair. Hair, not hat. <laughs> you did this in the shape challenge the other day. <laughs> it's like the shape challenge. I will draw a line. I think a pumpkin hat would be really good. Okay, but what about the hair, honey? She can have hair under the pumpkin hat. What kind of hair under the hat? Uh, Don't say hat hair. <laughs> Brown hair. It's not going to be colored hair. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to like this video, otherwise this ghost is going to haunt you. <laughs> Oh my word, what is, what is even this video? <laughs> what is this video became? There we go, we're getting the pumpkin hat going in. It's like last time, you did a mime. That was a really good Yeah, one. you wanted them to wear a beret, didn't you? And they sort of became a mime. <laughs> that can be the theme with yours, they can just wear an interesting hat every time. <laughs> every episode of the post challenge, a new hat. Would you guys like that? <laughs> Well, there we go, so she's got like, even though she's meant to be like an undead character who's recently reattached her toe, she's wearing a pumpkin on her head for some reason. Was she buried in a pumpkin patch? <laughs> I think that's scary. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I am scared. Okay, we'll have, we'll have a little bit of hair coming out too, because... Seeing as you were no help with the hair whatsoever. <laughs> she can have some like, uh, stitches going on. Anyway, I think I've been working on mine way too long. <laughs> I completely forgot you're actually doing this challenge as well. Oh, no. I think it's time that you took over. I'm having a fun puppet show over here. 
Someone found a design flaw in their ring. <laughs> it's kind of hard to... <laughs> it just looks like he's getting down. He's like, yeah! Someone hasn't liked the video, the ghost is haunting me! <laughs> <laughs> he's been possessed! <laughs> you know what he looks like? He just looks like a balloon. A balloon? Yeah. And he's got a little knot at the bottom. Oh yeah, I noticed he has like some kind of a groff at the bottom. It's not even a ghost, you're a balloon! <laughs> right, how's this going? It's got to all the body parts of skeletons that I don't like doing, so not well. <laughs> Is that like his arm? <laughs> Just basically all the bits that are born. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what you've got so far. There's my sketch. There he is. It look, it's really faint. It kind of looks like he's sniffing his hand. He's like, <laughs> where's that been? <laughs> I had to improvise. But he's doing the same pose as the lady. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's get it side by side. It's incredible. There we go. So why why is this uh, skeleton doing a little dance? He was having a bag of prawn cocktail crisps <laughs> at a Halloween party. And he realised he can eat even though he has no digestive system. <laughs> so he's like, yeah! He just thinks the smell pretty interesting. <laughs> it reminds me of my days on the ocean. <laughs> oh yeah, he looks spooky with his eyes blocked in. Nightmares. <laughs> What? Oh, it looks spooky. <laughs> nightmares. I'm sorry if any of you have nightmares tonight. Yeah, well, I'm just convinced this has got to be the most scariest video ever <laughs> uploaded to YouTube. I think hasn't it, it is. It <laughs> just—it seems really subliminal how you're just like nightmares, <laughs> spooky dookie, <laughs> spooky dookie nightmares, raisins. <laughs> yeah, the raisins. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's doing. He's running around hiding raisins around the party. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna be so freaked out when they find my ghostly raisins. <laughs> What are you giggling at? I swear I was looking at skeleton references on Pinterest, but I can't stop laughing at this. What, what have you done? Because it just looks like he's got skeletal butt cheeks. <laughs> when the booty's so fine, it follows you into death. He just has a really fine pelvis, that's all. Elvis pelvis. <laughs> it rhymes with Elvis. <laughs> you have just lost it this video, <laughs> haven't I would have thought pelvises would make you so giddy. <laughs> it rhymes with Elvis, I've never thought about that. That would make a good poem. You know, if there's any talented writers in the audience, there's an idea for you to cash in on. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of Elvis Pelvis. <laughs> right, I'm gonna give you a minute to cool off. No. So, what, no, what's happening? This... I don't want to talk about it. It makes me sad. <laughs> this video has been such a mix of emotions for you. What have you done? <laughs> Can I see? Let's see. I made an anatomy mistake. Can have you, you see what it is? <laughs> Have you given him forearms below his knees? No! <laughs> Stop trying to find faults that aren't there! Okay, what have you done? Okay, so look at the arms, right? There's this one. Yes. Upper arm. Yeah. Lower arm. Hand. Upper arm. Lower arm. Hand. Now look at this one. I presume that's the upper and lower arm. But I've only got enough room for one <laughs> bone. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen my forearm? <laughs> well, now I have to attach the hand to like his, his <laughs> look shoulders how, or look whatever. how curved that bone is. Someone didn't have enough calcium. <laughs> he needs a story for why he's missing a forearm. <laughs> how about the fact that he's dead and has no cartilage <laughs> to hold himself together? <laughs> I like that story, that's good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know I said broke this one into three bones. <laughs> Maybe that's why the other one... That's how he died. <laughs> and that's a very fleshy thumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't fully decayed just yet, and he's still got a bit of build up on his thumb. I hope you guys do join in with this. <laughs> yeah, if you can draw a better skeleton than me, just comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let's, let's not encourage spam comments. <laughs> well, you can have three tours. Because, <laughs> you know, wow. he's already missing an arm bone. He had a hard it? life, didn't he? <laughs> he had like four forearms, <laughs> three toes on each foot. I'll tell you what, I'm going to call him. All this pelvis. <laughs> I wondered why it was flashing on your page then, but it's because of your glasses. No, it's because I'm maximizing my spooky talent. Now then, in the original reference, her chin does go over her leg. It goes up there. Let's turn this off as distracting bit. <laughs> like that, yeah. And I actually incorporated your pumpkin hat. I hope you're happy. It looks great. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. It's kind of like a deflated pumpkin, but it's there. It's, uh, look at the camera. <laughs> oh, okay, what is it? <laughs> Smashing. <sighs> Do you get it? Smashing pumpkins. Yeah! Yay! 
That was really good for you. <laughs> for me. <Yeah. laughs> kind of looks like garlic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plot twist. It's got a big clove of garlic on her head. That's how she keeps the vampires away. <laughs> She's dead anyway. <laughs> oh, she just doesn't like vampires. I'm really conscious about vampires, okay? <laughs> I'm already dead, but they may come for me. Oh, I hope we get to do a Christmas edition of the pause challenge. Oh, well, if you guys want to see that, let us know. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. I'll have to see if I can get some Christmas rings. <laughs> oh, you just want to dress up for the video, don't you? <laughs> I really liked the, um, the idea of you doing a skeleton, so I hope you don't mind. But I've given this lady a skeletal arm. Oh, well, as long as you've done it correctly, because apparently I did it wrong. Well, I have such a good one over <laughs> here. <laughs> no, you have done such a good job. My good old friend Elvis Pelvis over here. <laughs> I wanted it to be wearing kind of like a like a, um, an old style dress, like from maybe the 1900s. -ish. Oh, I could say like one from a charity shop. <laughs> <laughs> she could be like a cost conscious undead person. <laughs> I'm really scared about vampires and not making savings. <laughs> I wanted to try and incorporate like this stitching into like maybe it'd look like a stocking. Ah. But instead it's like stitching. I'm waiting for this big toe. That's gonna be the moment oh. of truth. Okay, <laughs> let's get this big toe in. Here we go. I'll we'll even give her like a little a little toenail for you, eh? That's dedication. There you go. <laughs> big toe. And it was stitched on because she lost it, didn't she? There we go. She needs to be careful pulling on that big toe, it'll come off again. Yeah. <laughs> She's just testing the durability of her <laughs> stitching. She's like, but don't want to lose this again. I've got some shocking news, guys. <laughs> are you are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm trying to like clean this up and stuff and Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, right? It's Frankenstein. Yeah. And I was thinking, why has he got a right apple head? Because he's got like a leaf coming out of the top. <laughs> Yeah. And I've realised it's meant to be a pumpkin, but they couldn't be bothered making a new mould for Frankenstein. Yeah, because guys, don't you think that looks like a balloon as well? <laughs> uh, we're onto something with these people. <laughs> so they just use these all year round and repaint them as new things. <laughs> That's actually genius. That's actually really clever. I'm going to save so much money. You're going to need to lay down after this. I already one. am laying down. <laughs> Okay guys, if you made it to the end of this train wreck of an episode, I want you to comment down below spooky dookie. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't already too. And we'll see you next time for another doodle date. Doodle date. See you soon guys.